I, I started building those kind of bikes because that rip snorter rumbler motorcycle had drop bars. And the little plastic guy that sat on that had a pudding basin helmet and a bubble visor, and I thought it was the coolest thing in the world. And I just, as soon as I figured out I could really do that to a real motorcycle, that was it. Mike, you know, my good friend Mike, he, uh, he and I have collected up pieces over the years, go to swap meets, you know, wherever we could find old cafe racer pieces. We'd collected up enough pieces over the years that it was his idea, you know, we've got enough pieces, why don't you make molds of these things and start selling them. That fairing, it was a racing fairing, didn't have a headlight opening or anything. But Mike took the first piece out of the mold and started dissecting it and make it fit the BSA, which is the same era from when that type of fairing was being raced to you know, the 67 BSA that he's building now. We had to, or Mike had to stretch the fairing to be taller. It didn't fit the bike, it was made for a shorter bike. Uh, so we had to stretch it to make it taller had to put some bumps or blisters in the bottom to clear the exhaust and of course a headlight opening so you could run it on the street. Some people I suppose build a bike to impress other people. But we build our bikes to impress ourselves. The the union bikes have a certain element of, of polish. That's just how we do things. 